Hi, this is Scott, Kilo Sierra 6, Delta Alpha Yankee, and for today's video we're back with the TID Radio TDH3 once again. This is going to be a quick video. This is a follow-up to the video I did a few days ago where I talked about the issue with the squelch tail on repeater operations. Uh, up to the point I did that video, I really didn't see it as a massive issue, but like a lot of things, when something gets brought to your attention, you can't not pay attention to it ever again. So I started fixating on it myself. Well, a couple of days ago, there was a firmware update. That, go ahead and turn that down. A couple of days ago, there was a firmware update that was done. And in the update log, there was some verbiage in there about the update being uh, or addressing a squelch tail issue or a squelch issue. But it also mentioned in the same sentence that it related to trunked repeaters. Long story short, that particular firmware update made no change to the radio at all. I installed it and I didn't see any changes whatsoever. So I put a pinned comment in the comment section on the video for the squelch tail issue, indicating that wasn't the update that uh, y'all were looking for. Um, however, this morning I wake up, check my comment section, and I see someone in there that has uh, noticed that TID put out a firmware update like yesterday that was meant to address this issue very specifically and he reported that he installed it and it worked. So as soon as my coffee was ready I uh, downloaded the firmware update, installed it onto the radio and I'm seeing some actual results relating to the squelch tail issue. So let me go ahead and I'm going to chunk a couple of repeaters and give you an idea of what we're talking about here but there definitely has been some progress being made so let's see what we get. Um, this repeater I was going to use is occupied at the moment. Let me turn this up and see what happens. He said, Mobile, are you out and about today? Um, I'll run some errands. All right, well, these guys are just talking right over each other. This is a linked repeater, so I'm probably, uh, this is going to be jammed up for a while. These guys on Salinas Valley Repeater Group, there's one guy on there that I, literally talks all day long. So let's go to another repeater and give that a try. <laughs> try that one more time. Doesn't that sound like a normal squelch tail? Sounds like a normal squelch tail to me. Um, so yeah, that's way different than it was in the last video. Now I'm going to show you something else that you um, might want to know. And I don't know what's causing this exactly, but the repeater that I just hit has CTCSS applied to transmit only, which most repeaters, that's a setup. But you're going to encounter repeaters, especially in the GMRS world, that have CTCSS applied to both transmit and receive uh, because the, there's so many, you know, you only have eight repeater pairs to play with. Uh, you need to do that to keep from hearing other repeaters that you don't want to hear uh, or simplex channels for that matter. So um, let's go to TCRC G1. Now this has CTCSS applied to transmit and receive. So here we get a little bit of a different effect. And let me go ahead and key down. I'll show you, show you what I'm talking about. Nothing, no squelch tail at all in that case. Now I do notice every now and again it does, one does sneak in, but for the most part, every single time, that's all I'm getting. Um, so it's been completely eliminated. Just to let you know, let's check uh, squelch tail elimination for repeater. I have it set to off and I played around with it, I've set it at uh, two and five, it, and there actually does seem to be a little bit of action happening on there. So I think they need a little bit of fine tuning uh, applied to this, but it's definitely a step in the right direction, and it's definitely a fix. So they're starting to work on the problem, and they're they're getting some traction. So I do recommend that you go ahead and install this firmware update on your radio. See if it makes the changes you need for you. Again, the um, file name for the update is 240427. And I will leave a link in the description where to go to download that software update, or rather firmware update. I oh, can't believe I said that. So, um, yeah, again, 240427 is the firmware update you're looking for. So with that, I will bring it to a close. Thank you for watching and or listening. This is Scott Kilo, CR6, Delta Alpha Yankee in Visalia, California. Have a wonderful day.